Hello, it's Rita here, and um, welcome to my channel if you're new, and um, thank you for stopping by if you're my regular subbies, or if you're new and, and seeing me for the first time. Um, so I am, I don't know what I have, this little black string or piece thing, something st stuck to my tie, which is frustrating me. Okay. So this isn't going to be a, too long of a video because um, I just wrinkled my paper. Well, I'm off to a good start. Okay. So what I was doing is, as you um, have seen in the past videos, was making the signature for um, the book where we can tie it closed. Um, I am actually going to make this the signature. I'm not going to just do this as like a little added feature I'm, I'm going to make this the middle signature so um, it'll still be tied and everything but I added more things in here so it's a little bulky to be just a add-on okay so I just glued this little piece down here and I threw a couple tickets in there for now I don't know um, on this I made a tag I put a um, little pocket there and uh, I was going to decorate this a little bit, not much. Um, I feel like I wanted to say something. Oh, I, I want to let everybody know I am using uh, Janie B uh, Digital Kit, and it is called the um, Ladies in Lace. This is not from that kit. This is from her, I think, number seven uh, mystery Um Maybe, maybe number two, I'm not sure. Anyway, and then the other prints I'm using is also, digitals are from the journal Boat. And it is called, I wanted to get this out of my way here. I keep forgetting to mention it. It's called Sweet Vintage Pink, okay? So anyway, this is a journal card that I made. I collaged it a long time ago and I finally have found a place to put it. So like I said, I just made a little pocket here and I think that's more my porch prints, a uh, little pocket. And then I put a little cluster here. And then I just I wanted to put a label, but I didn't really want to leave it plain. So I just wrote in 1932. That's the year my mom was born. And, and I just thought it would be a cool thing to put, to write in there. So what I need to do here is get, um, I think I'm going to put an eyelet in this tag right here. So this is just um, kind of a craft with me um, day again, um, making little bits of ephemera here and there. Um, maybe nothing new, maybe it is new to you or how to do it, I don't know. This is the crocodile. I was supposed to go to quilt camp uh, this morning and my daughter asked me if I would come and um, help her. Um, everybody's trying to get ready for my son <laughs> to get here. Um, and let us see, I need a tie. I wonder if I have a piece of fabric that would look cute. Um, so I went over and helped her a little bit. And then I came home and I decided to do this because tomorrow I will have to go to quilt camp because I have things to deliver to some other people there. And, um, whoops, come on. I think this would be kind of cute. It's just a pink fabric. I'll just tie this on. These are just leftovers from, you know, something that I had done. Let's see, let's see if we can't have that little point, you know, those little ribbon points. Most of the time I can never remember which way to go to make the point. Oh, wrong way, see? There we go. All right, it's just a little something. Okay, so that's that. Ah. Okay, so then I thought I would just 
This pocket goes in here, and I've already sewed around it, and um, it's, this pocket has those foldy things behind it, and so it's a little struggle to get it in. I thought I would just um, glue this on, and I thought about putting a button on there for like a center, flower center. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, it was raining here for we had that stormish weather coming through from the, uh, the tor uh, not tornado, uh, the storm. I think it's Claudette. Oh, I love these buttons and I just hate to use them. That one's pretty white, but it does kind of show off nice. I was just telling my daughter today that she goes, well, that's not white and that's cream. And I said, that's okay. You know, you can blend those colors together. You just have to carry them throughout somehow. So why not here? Okay. Do I want to tie, I don't know if I want to tie some floss in there or let's see what I do with the floss. I kept it out because I thought I might need that pink again. gnat in here. The gnats are invading right now. I don't know what I do with that floss. Huh. All right. Well, I guess I won't put it in because I don't know where it is and I'm not going to search the whole place for it. And I'm trying to put things away so that I don't lose them. All right. I don't know. So let's just put it on. I'll use fabric tack behind here. These were flowers that I got um, Hobby Lobby. And they were in the bridal department. And um, they came, uh, you know, with the stem on it. And um, this was like really hard right there. I think it had uh, pearls or something in it. And I copy dyed them flatten them out so that they would lay down. It kind of looks like a little smiley face <laughs> on that flower. Alrighty. Okay, so that's that page. And let's see. So that's done. That one's done. This one I think I did on, on camera with the little butterflies. Okay, I have this. Um, I put in a um, belly band and I sewed around this, put paper on it in a, in a tab and um, these roses look like they're upside down. I don't know, maybe I need to, oh well, it doesn't matter. Really need to, like, maybe should I put something on here? Let's see what. That, like, just really blends in, but at least it gives it something. Um, I'm sure everything is going to really blend in. I wonder how my die cuts would look. Hold on one second. Because I punched out these. Oh, those are. Um, let's see, do I have anything? It's hard to tell which side is the right side. Oh, this is the right side. What do you think? Hmm. Now, um, <sighs> I cut my nail too. I don't know. What do you think? But just. 
something simple like that or Maybe this real big one would be good. I like that. I mean, yeah, let's do that. And somebody um, had a way of gluing these die cuts on. It's just, I can't think of it right now, but I thought it was a, a clever idea. Oh, now I don't know. Okay. Let me darken this a little. It does blend in, but let's put something down here. Let's look at definitions, because that would be, um, where are you? Definitions. Way at the bottom. I don't know about nearly. I like that. I think that looks good. All right, I'm going to ink around this a little bit so that it kind of jumps out on the page. Ah. I just don't like straight edges. It's very humid out today, guys. It's, I don't know. It's okay if you're not doing anything, but just to sit in, in the air, you know, air conditioning, I guess. I guess it's that way everywhere. If you live like in Arizona and California, like I did, it was days it was 110 degrees. So we just stayed inside. All right. I think that's fine. Oh, I forgot my glue stick. Oh, darn. All right. I put it in the refrigerator yesterday um, when I was working. I think this is fine. Oh, you know, I know what it was, I think, on those. They use the silicone and just spread it all over that die cut. Just like that. I probably got it too. where I was going to put it. Yeah, I don't think that. Okay. Now, Mary informed me that this thing doesn't have to be wiped off every time it is silicone, so therefore nothing will stick to it. I just didn't want to mess it up. Whoop. <laughs> okay, I think I, that thing was wet. I think it got a little too wet. All right. 
and I've already sewed on the back, right? Okay, so that's something that's a little um, extra. I actually brought over some plastic, but I, because I was going to glue on that and wipe it off. It might work there. Um, so I was afraid there's a glare. I, I just feel like you guys are going to be looking at something shiny in your face. So I'll have to check it out, though. All right, let's see. I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't do this. Okay, on this one is the little book uh, down the rabbit hole, the Alice in Wonderland. And it's part of a, a, of a bigger little book, but that's chapter one. And so I just um, put some of this. Did I do this on camera? I don't remember. This is, um, I think, a tea bag that I got from Kathy. And I just put a bird on it and a little tab because you really can't tell where it opens. Um, and so I'm going to slip that in there like that. Okay. And then I have this card that Mary sent. And I just put this flower here and a stamp up there. And I wrote on here, Miss Potter, La London. And I did that because... I just watched the movie about uh, Beatrice Pot uh, Potter, uh, who wrote Peter Rabbit, and it was a, a cute movie. And then I, I did um, stenciling there, and then I put one of these little guys inside the envelope. I just left it hanging out the side like that. And that goes just like that. And I showed you this. This is another page, and I showed you all of this. Um, I sewed around that, but I want to think I did something else, but I guess I didn't. Okay, and then that comes open, and then we have this little um, card in that tuck there. Okay, and then butterfly, which thank you, Mary, for your comment about putting the gray and pink and yellow together. Um, there's just a touch of yellow in this card, in this uh, print. So, anyway. Okay, so that is it then. I think that's the whole signature. Um, yeah, so that's going to be smack dab in the middle of the book. Into the middle of the journal. Which is um, going to tie like this. And like this. Unless I do something else in there, but right now that's that's my thought I don't I don't think I need to put anything out here I don't feel like I need to cover this side or the other side at least not at this point okay so now we have um, three I think we have three project three signature centers is what I'm wanting to say I have this one is that this oh yeah I think it, let me check Yes, this is going to be the center. I can't remember what I'm doing. Oh, I, oh, I was going to make a journal card with that. I didn't get around to it, but I'll do that. Okay, so this is the signature, uh, the center page. So we have this page, and I'll probably put this page first, then this middle one, and then we'll put this one, and um, which is the center signature. For the third signature okay so there's that so all we have to do is fill this pay this book uh, signature I mean this center and this center with our pages all right okay and I haven't figured those out yet the pages so I'm just gonna set this to the side and see what else I had oh Wait a minute. This has got to go in. This one here, I forgot. It goes in here. Let's see. Oh, where's that page at? That was this page. Because this page here, I did this. And then this back page, I was just going to make a journal card. Um, I, I was going to make this frame 
glue the frame on and then I just made it like a little journal card here and I'm going to slide that leave this open and slide it in there okay so let me get my glue here my art litter glue I'm just going to make a real thin line around here so that the card will slip in okay I'll I'm trying to make a <laughs> kind of shaky. Okay. Now let's see. I guess. Okay. This is going to show through when you take out the card. You can let that dry for one second because. Um, tab to put on the journal card or maybe I'll just put a little tab of lace let's see where my little um, there it is there's my gloss piece of crocheting lace. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. I'm almost out of this. I can't remember where I got it. fit. Oh my goodness. I knew it wasn't going to fit. Nope. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can get this edge off. I couldn't check it until after I glued it on. Now I don't know, should I let me straighten this up a little bit? I don't know if I should leave these sides on. I, this one's glued on, but I can I can get it off. Hmm. Go around this with the sew machine again. Always something, huh? The sobo gives you a little bit of time to work.
That's why it takes me so long because I constantly have to adjust everything. All right, so I think that's in there good enough. All right, so I'll have to remember to come back and sew that. All right, but anyway, the it's there. So when I put a couple tickets on this side and I don't know, I may have to find something bigger because they keep moving. Okay, and there we go. Yeah. Isn't this pretty? I love this chiffon stuff. Just love it. Okay. All right. Now let me see. What else do I have going? Okay, so um, yesterday or the day before I made this little pocket, do you know that um, Edith Holden uh, book where there's that snake? Well, I wanted to use that page because I don't like that snake. So the snake is down inside of here, but you won't see it unless you peek in there. So anyway, that's just a pocket. I don't know if I'm going to put this flower on it. I don't know if I'm going to add any more to it. Um, it's kind of hard to... I was gonna add a circle or something, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's really hard to, to get it in. So I'm just gonna call it ephemera. Already is done. And this little guy we did, but I didn't uh, put a closure on it. So I did sew around it. And I think I was gonna use this ticket for closure, and I have these cute little envelopes. Let's see, we need to go a little higher. These cute envelopes from um, uh, Reflections by Di, Diane. I was gonna put that in there, but I don't think I want it now. Or was I gonna put something up here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was going to do this here or something like that. And I don't like that there. I think we don't need anything there. All right, so this, it's inked. Now let's see about halfway. I don't want it too too close to that. Okay. These are so cute, these little envelopes. I'd never be able to make these. I can't do these little, let's see, do I want it? I don't want to, I don't know, maybe this is kind of cute. Let's do it that way. It'll be cute. Okay, so now we've got that. as a little closure on that. Sometimes these are hard to close. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna clip this in to the journal or, or glue it in. But I guess we'll decide that when I get there. Okay, now I just did a few things. So let's see what else. Um, why do I have these flowers out here? I was gonna do something with them. What was I gonna do with those flowers? I don't know. I have to look back and see. I must have just going to plan to put them somewhere. Okay, so then I was watching um, Rachel's little uh, weekly thing, and she made these little pockets. 
And um, so, let's see, I didn't glue this or anything or sew it or this. I just made a few because I have these um, papers and I thought these this would be great for um, a uh, botanical and this one here too. So I sewed up these sides just to see how it would look. And it's not very strong, but um, because it's just one piece of paper. But anyway, in order to make this, let's see, I'm just going to show you. So I took this out of a magazine. It's a um, Cinderella, uh, not magazine, but a children's book. And this is pink, so I thought I'd use this. So what you do is you fold it um, enough to leave a flap up here, okay? And then, so that's about an inch flap. And maybe I didn't need to put this up so far. In fact, you could put your flap down first and then set this up. Um, I wonder, uh, I'm just gonna leave it because I don't want an extra fold. Then you fold it in half again, like this. So, and I'm, I'm sure that um, a lot of you have seen this done, but I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to use it. I thought that would be cute. Although our head's gonna be in the middle of the signature. As like, this is the signature. Well, you can still see your hair, head and then hers. <laughs> okay, she's the only one they had pink on. All right, so then here, I'm gonna fold this back and I'm going to clip this inside a little bit, a little V-shape. And then I'm going to clip a little V-shape on this side. Okay, and that makes our little pocket, I mean our little flap right there. Then I'm gonna take this. Now Gail did this. Um, I don't think Rachel did. So let me see. So that's almost four inches, so we'll just do two. I get it, and then I, I'm not, I don't think I like her up front. Yeah. Okay, so there's that, right? So let's just ink it up a little bit. I mean, how simple is this to make? Just, and um, I thought, you know, make, I was gonna make it out of the, um, Edith Holden, but I didn't want that snake to show. So, I don't know, I, I tried it to use it for that, but it didn't, wasn't something, what didn't work out right. I don't know what it is, but you can use any size paper. Just depends on how much you want. All right, so this side, we're just going to leave it because it doesn't need anything, but I'm going to do something to this side because I don't want, um, this to be upside down. So, um, if I just put a journal um, paper on it, just some coffee dyed, I don't know if that's what I wanna do. I think I would rather do it on the back of this one and maybe put something here like a decorative something. And then what I got. Mm. Mm, I don't know. That's too not big enough. Let me just this is really pretty. Let me just cut this out. This is from the journal boat. This is a leftover digi I had that I printed out, not on cardstock, so I just kept it for this reason to use it to glue with. Hmm. Still 
have a lot of background showing. Um, I don't suppose some lace behind that would You can tell something's behind there, but kind of does distract it. should leave it hanging out a little bit, like at the bottom. I don't know. I can't get it to sit straight. <laughs> My hands are not working. Oh, I, I don't know. No, I don't like it. All right, let me see what else can I do. Um, you know, I, I put the napkins up thinking now I kind of wish I let's see if I have some just thinking I could just a little bit or something behind it with these scraps. I don't have to put it in the middle. I just need to put it around the outsides. I don't have my glue stick. All right. I was just going to do as much as I could do in the time. And you know what? I don't even have to put it all the way in the middle. So let me get a couple pieces up to here. Like I've been doing a lot of this collaging lately. <laughs> it's not really my my cup of tea, but sometimes it just is the best thing to do. Around it pink because this is the pink lady journal which I forget to mention
probably should have cut that off before I stuck that down, not knowing even if it's, I'll do this without cutting off my, cutting the page open. So I thought these were kind of cute. I don't know. It seems like I've made these before, but I don't remember. Um, if I did, but I didn't make a sample. Now I have a sample though. Okay, oh, I forgot to ink. Oh, I didn't even close that yet. Okay, that's what I still have to do is, I think I'll just sew down these. was thinking, um, how would I see those pink? I don't know if I want any of these on there or not. It's funny how you can use so many kits from different people. I mean, I have tags in here from Artie Mays and um, my porch prints has got uh, a couple things, you know, the main subject matter was Janie B's and the journal boats, but, you know, you can just use all kinds of leftover paper, at least that's kind of what I was planning, just so it's cohesive, but not, um, Um, no, I don't want it that way. I can't rem I think that was Artie Mays, that pink label right there. It looks vintage, but it says email on it. Okay. quiet because I'm actually thinking ahead. <laughs> do you guys do that? I'm like, okay, this is fine, but I need to add something else somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. And let's see, I feel like I just want to put a little piece of lace up there. And I had um, I don't think it was this one I wanted. Yeah, maybe just that. Just a little bit of elegance. Tell which is which way. Okay. I think this is left over, so I'll try to move it out of the way so it's not bugging me. Okay, so there's that little piece there and then inside here, and then we'll put something down inside of here. And I almost feel like I'm gonna, I might, I don't know. I was thinking of 
cutting it a little bit lower. Um, but I'll have to just see, see that. And then this side here, I will just put a piece of um, copy dyed or something for the back to write. It's too small. Alrighty, so I guess that's it for today. And I may not be here tomorrow. I've got my quilt camp to go to. I'm not planning to stay all week, but I do have to take some stuff and deliver there uh, tomorrow. So if I don't get back and do a video, um, that's why. Alrighty, so you guys have a great um, day, what's left of your day or evening, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.